How's it going, guys? And welcome to the final session of Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we made it through the final Temple 8, and now we have to head over to the egg to awaken the windfish and save the island, or awaken it from a dream. Whatever where you are. Where are you from, brother? Outside the island? What is outside? I've never thought about it. The giant egg on top of Tamarack Mountain? They say the windfish is sleeping inside of it. Why? I don't know either. So it seems like literally no one knows what's going on, but perhaps it is for the best to awaken the island. Anywho, right over here, Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Koholint. Do you really want to read it? Yeah. Round and around the passageways of the egg. Yep. This is kind of important. You need to write this down as a note. So I'm going to actually open up my notes. I should have had this done beforehand, but hey, I did not. Anywho, here's a Mr. Notepad. So it's... Alright. Actually, no, I'll just put the letter. Left, up, right, up, left, <laughs> J. Oh god, it's been... It's late. Up, right, up. This is randomized, so even though mine's like this, you can't copy it. Sorry, guys. I would let you copy it if you could. Hmm. This book reeks of secrets. But with that, we can now go take on the egg, because we basically would be stuck in an infinite loop unless we knew the exact path of getting through this bastard. Yep, kind of annoying. So it's time to talk about a couple of the things that I'm not going to be able to get. One, all the heart pieces. Sorry guys, I don't care. Two, the level two sword. That is your reward for getting 20 seashells. I just don't really care, and honestly, it's compl well, not completely pointless against the final boss, but it's not really necessary. It doesn't help much. It's just not necessary. At this point in the game, I'm just not gonna bother getting it. And three, I actually don't have a number three. I think that's literally everything I need. Well, let's go take on the final boss. Huh. Looks like Marin and Terran are gone. Am I even going to be here to celebrate the finale? Man, that's kind of lame. Is she over here singing? Well, she's sitting. Thank you for everything. Ocus, you were the kindest boy I know. One day, I made a wish to the windfish. What was the wish? It was... <laughs> no, it's a secret. Dude, you're asking me when we started to live on this island? What do you mean by when? Whoa, the concept just makes my head hurt. Yep, literally no one knows. It's obviously just a dream world. I mean, literally, no one has a clue what's going on with this place. This is a very interesting concept. I mean, to live your entire life thinking it's a lie. It's like the Stanley Parable, only this is not nearly as confusing as the Stanley Parable. Everyone's just living in a dream world. Stanley Parable, good luck. It kind of has an existential point of view going on with that shit. It's like the whole idea of, as long as you don't know that the world can be better, you can be happy living any life. Even if it means pushing buttons. It's kind of like that whole uh, Psychbeed story, wherever the hell his name was, from like, mythology. Where he has to push a boulder up a mountain every single day of his life. And when he gave up hope, it ever getting any better, he started to actually enjoy it and won against the gods. He's like, hey, I can push this up the cliff every single day. You guys can't stop me from doing that because it's the only thing that I can do. But now, no more talk because Mount Tamarack is here. Ta Mount Tamaranch, I don't know how you pronounce it. And we got an egg to wake. So let's waken it. Yep. We're gonna need the ocarina, of course. And none other than Marin's song will pull us through.
Hook, the time has come. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoo-hoo. Yep. And this time he doesn't fly away. Because he knows there's nowhere else to go but this egg. Let's roll. For this dungeon... Eh, whatever. Sword and shield. Good combo. We'll fight this guy when he comes along. We got a boss to fight, don't we? We gotta take care of the nightmares and save the windfish. Or wake him. Whatever. So yeah. Ultimate song that is not. That is definitely not the uh, soundstone from uh, Earthbound, but still fun. Good theme. And now... Fall. Welcome to the egg. So here, we gotta figure out the code, don't we? Left, up, right, up. So let's move the mouse off the screen so you guys aren't bothered. Left, up, right, up. Left, up, right, up. Wow, it's the same combo twice. Seriously? I didn't know that. It's Luru Luru. That's kind of a dumb password. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five. That's another I have in my luggage. Guys, no more jokes. No more kidding. This is it. Say hello to... The boss. We were born. Take over this world. We made the windfish sleep endlessly. The windfish doesn't wake up. This island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. But you have to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> Never defeat us. Let's rumble. Click off the screen. And just like that, say hello to the ultimate nightmare. Whatever the hell you want to call him. He has multiple forms, this guy. Form number one, a blob. Or is it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Smack him. And he just disappears. So are we hurting him? One never knows. Doesn't look like it. Well, let's assume magic power is his weakness, because we know what to do here. And just like that, magic powder beats the crap out of him. Oh yeah, just keep sprinkling that shit on him. And once you do it three times, he's gonna change form into Aghanim. That's right. So now it's time to play some volleyball. Or not volleyball, more like electric pong. So when he shoots this ball, you want to avoid it unless he shoots the actual ball like that. When he shoots it like that, you basically want to hit it back into him. He doesn't have a way to reflect it, I believe. So you just want to hit him like that. After you hit him a couple times, though, he will start to hit a different shot. Which will look exactly the same, almost. Like that. That one you just want to avoid. You can't block it or anything. It's just going to smack into the wall and not do anything. There we go. Three hits. But he's still not done yet. This is Agonim we're talking about. Oh, that was actually a shot. Oh, wow. I didn't know he'd do that. Huh. I love this angle right here when he does it from, like, the bottom of the screen. Yeah, there we go. And four shots does him in. And he turns into... Twin Mold. Yep. Or Twin Rova. I don't know. What, I think it's Twin Twin Rova is the stupid witch bitch. The witch bitches. Comes a lot faster. Hit him again. Hit him again. Just keep hitting him. Don't let up. This is the final boss after all. We've only taken a whole heart of damage. He has multiple forms. But this guy's going to be really rough to fight. He's definitely a rough boss. And even with the blue tunic and a, and a potion, I do find this guy to be a bit challenging sometimes. So use a lot of patience when you fight this guy. Don't try to rush it. Because I'll just get you more shit than you need to deal with. There we go. Another hit. And that takes care of Twin Mold. But who do we fight now? <laughs> of course. It's Ganon. Who else could it be? He 
think Ganon would be the final form, but absolutely not. Nah, it'd be a little unoriginal if we fought Ganon for the final form, wouldn't it? I mean, we fight him in almost every game. Well, not almost every game, but a good bit of the games. You can basically hit him at almost any time, so this form is actually rather easy. Kind of a shame for Ganon, to tell you the truth. His son's flaming bats at you. He doesn't really even charge you that much. Yeah, for a boss, poor Ganon is not exactly that threatening. He has a lot of HP, though. And if you keep getting these double swings, it does take a bit of time. But now, we get this form. Who's basically going to follow us around like an asshole. And none of our attacks seem to be working. That's not good. Well, let's beat the crap out of this guy the only way we know how. Boomerang, bitch. <clears throat> but now comes the final form. This is his most annoying form by far. He's basically going to swing a bunch of metal balls. Now, I heard something really bad about this form. And because of this, I want to make a save state. Not because I'm cheating or anything like that. If I fail, I fail. But I just want to test this really quickly. Okay. I'm going to throw a boomerang at this guy into his eyeball. If I do that, I think it one-shots him. Apparently, that's what happens if you hit this guy in the eye or something like that. You can actually one-shot this guy with the boomerang. And it does not appear to be working. I have no idea what that guy was smoking. Okay. Never mind then. Let's beat this guy the actual way. So we have to do for this guy, believe it or not, is not use your sword. You have to shoot your bow. So you want to keep out your jumping rocks feather, and you want to jump over these swinging balls that he's got, or his swinging arms, or whatever, and just shoot him with your arrows. In the eye, of course. But see, a weakness is always in the eye, isn't it? That's just how it is. Yeah, his swinging tentacles, whatever you want to call them, they do a lot of damage, so you kind of want to jump off to one side and jump back in, rather than kind of like do some other tricky jump in the middle, because you usually won't make it if you do that. He's going to switch up his pattern if his arm swings, so, so keep that in mind. Some, sometimes you might want to jump in the middle. It's not exactly always recommended, because it's a little hard to make. Let's see you jump at the very last second. Use really good timing on it. Open your eye, damn it. Thank you. Ass. I want to beat you sometime this day. Let's go. Oop. And one more shot should do it. Uh, not one more shot. What the hell am I talking about? It'll take many more shots than one. He hasn't even gotten to his most annoying arm swing where he just starts spazzing out and swinging him like that. Yeah, there it is. That's his annoying arm swinging where he just doesn't even care anymore. He just swings him whichever way he wants. Oh, let's see if I can do this without using my magic potion. I don't know if I can. It'd be a bit tricky. Come on, man, open your damn eye. Sometimes this fight takes like five seconds, sometimes it takes God knows how long. Because it all depends on when this asshole opens his eyeball. Whoop, whoop. This is another major reason why I just love the blue tunic. It helps so much more against this guy. I mean, not every form you can use your sword against, so being able to take some extra damage really helps. Also, you can kind of shoot the guy twice if you time it really fast. If you run out of arrows, I don't know what you do against this guy. Maybe there's like some arrow drop somehow. I don't know. Whoop. Ugh, damn, it's really close. Oh man, it's so close. It's so close. <laughs> Ugh, God damn it. Ooh, this is really getting intense right now. I know I have a potion, but I don't care. <laughs> yes. This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. Fuck you. Focus. You have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before And now, the set of stairs appears. Let's climb. I did it, guys. Link's Awakening done. Not a life lost. Yes. Not one game over. That's awesome. Ooh. Young lad. I mean... Ocus.
the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of history. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Then you, Hocus, came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Hocus. My work is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye, Pooh. And off he goes. You are a lot less annoying in this game than you were in Ocarina of Time, Al. I'm gonna say that right now. I am the Windfish. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared and was surrounded by an island with people, animals, and an entire world. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dost awaken, Kaholint will be gone. Only the memory of this dream land will exist in the waking world. Someday, thou may recall the sound. That memory must be the real dream world. Come. Focus. Let, Let us, us awaken. Together. And awaken together means play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. You know, I may have decided this isn't my favorite Zelda game anymore with the other two Game Boy games, but you know what? Still gotta say, best Zelda storyline. Easy. And the island disappears, leaving the clear blue sea in this wake oh shit. Cool off! Spread! Actually, no, it says drown, spread. Yeah, cool off his ice tornado. Whoops. <laughs> and thus, Link is dead. That's a great ending. Well, maybe not. When I first saw this scene, I thought you actually got to keep your blue tunic, but no, that's definitely your green tunic. Yep. Your tunics were merely just a memory. But hey. Maybe the windfish wasn't. Bye, Link. I'm off to go be Sin in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> and just like that, this short project comes to an end. That, everyone, is Link's Awakening. You may be wondering what my whole reward is for beating the game without losing a single life. Well, what happens is, well, you'll see at the very end. <laughs> yep, you'll have to wait. Oh right, the credits. Forgot about this shit. Oy. You see, on emulators, the credits fail. No matter who's playing the game, the credits just fail and they flash and they look really bad. I have no idea how it's going to turn up in the video. In other words, yeah, the credits are kind of bumped. Sorry, guys. 
I think they were even bunked in Chugga's playthrough, so maybe they're supposed to be like this. I don't know. It was a really bad decision if that was the case. It's really weird. I don't know. Anyway, this song is great. I really do love this song, too. This is another song like that on my iPod. It sounds very similar to uh, Warrior Land 2's uh, end theme, almost. In fact, it's, it sounds exactly like Warrior Land 2. love this game. This game has one of the best Zelda, no, fuck that, best Zelda storyline. Easy. It really is a great Zelda storyline with a very interesting plot that keeps you involved. It's a very fun game. I highly recommend anybody plays it. I had a lot of fun doing this for Let's Play, and I would not mind doing the other Game Boy Zeldas as well in the future. Although, that'll probably have to wait for a little bit when I'm, you know, a bit more in the mood to play them. And when I actually have reliable, well, I have reliable ways to record them. But, that'll have to come in the future, I suppose. <laughs> no, I just realized, I recently beat, uh, Legend of Zelda, for a pool of ages. So that definitely means I have beaten all three Game Boy Zeldas. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so what comes next, guys? Well, I've been spoiling it a lot, haven't I? Fire Emblem, and of course, Quest 64. So you guys ready to see your little reward? That's it, right there. She got her wish. She got to become a seagull. The developed team would like to thank you for playing. Hell yes. So yeah, that's your reward for actually beating the game without losing a single life on Link's Awakening DX. Marin herself becomes a seagull. That's pretty damn cool. Ah, So, satisfying ending, isn't it guys? Well, who wants to know something really, really funny? I mean, this is this is going to make you laugh right now. So this is another one of those old games, which basically once you beat the game, you have to reset it. So why don't we go play our file now that we have the game reset? Yeah, just go take a quick look at it. Yeah, you see that screen? No, this isn't game plus mode, no. You see... I never figured out how to save. I never did. I, I never looked it up, and I never figured out how to save. I can reload my save. I can do that. But yeah, I, I never saved the game. Which means the only way I can prove that I actually beat this game without dying is through the Let's Play. Yeah. And there you go. There you have it. So literally, if I start this game, welcome back to the beginning. Well, uh, do I have to end every single one of these Zelda games in a stupid way? Like, how do I end Majora's Mask? In Majora's Mask, actually, you know what? I ended Majora's Mask nice. In, Link's of, in the original Legend of Zelda, I had the stupid shit with the 34 deaths. This one had zero deaths, so I'm very happy to have done that. Anywho, guys, that's Link's Awakening. What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. <laughs> you were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Kaholit Island. Hmm. I think it's fitting that history repeats itself. Don't you? Because even in Link's dreams, I'm sure he's thinking of this place. And hot little Marin over there. Because let me tell you, she gives you a lot more than Zelda does. Even though she doesn't give you much. But, whatever. Yeah, that's not the point. So... When we come back for whatever we're coming back for, you guys can stick around and see. Tales of Symphonia is still coming up, as is this. Well, I promise to have this shit completed sooner or later, and have it all uploaded. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I couldn't collect everything I wanted to collect in the game, but hey, I got what I needed to. See you guys for Fire Emblem and Quest 64 coming up soon. Bye, guys. Have a nice day. And keep dreaming. That was fucking corny as shit.